I really don't know what is the connection between uh, this journal and African Journal of Biological Sciences. Astronomy channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index journal. It is called as Questions de Physiotherapia. It is actually a Spanish international journal. This title is translated as Physiotherapy Issues in English language. So in this video, we'll try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the Scopus database, which quartile it comes under, whether we can submit our variable article to this particular journal because we are receiving some feedback from the authors that uh, not all articles are being indexed in the Scopus database. We'll also try to find out whether this journal is indexed in the master journal list or maybe web of science database ABDC quality list as well as UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journal list. We'll also try to find out the article processing charges for Indian authors as well as foreign authors, what they have quoted in the website and what they are collecting through the back door, through the agents and through the associations. Let us also try to find out the time they take from submission till acceptance, till publication, till indexing of the article in the Scopus database. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Questions de Physiotherapy. So this is the journal we are talking about. We are searching for Questions de Physiotherapy in the Google search. We are getting the search result. So here the website shows Questions de Physiotherapy dot es. Okay, please note that it is displayed in the Spanish language. If you want, you can translate to English language. We also have Sai Imaga Journal Drank discussing about this particular journal. Uh, everywhere we have .es website, we also have other indexing databases discussing about this particular journal. Anyway, we will go ahead with the first website, okay, questions de physiotherapy.es. But when you try to click on this link, immediately it changes to questions de physiotherapy.com. Okay, so here they have given the editor email id with the dot com domain and please note uh, that they are publishing articles specifically to physician therapy okay or related fields okay but i really don't know in the current issue okay so only the first article as you see it is related to relationship between personality and career goals i really don't know how this is actually related to the physician therapy okay but other uh, articles uh, we can find you know align themes mentioned over here in the current issue we find 10 articles being published please try to understand that not all articles are being indexed in the scopus database of course they have maintained an internationalism in the published articles in the archive section in 2025 we find one issue as we can see Every year we have three issues being published. We decided to count the total number of articles of uh, issue number one, issue number two and issue number three of 2024 and you can see that uh, there are 38 documents in 2024 and all of them got indexed in the Scopus database. Indexing information shows that they are indexed in the Scopus database while we have other indexing platforms which are normal. In the instruction to author section, they have mentioned that uh, uh, in any case uh, the author is trying to withdraw the paper, there is no particular refund. And here you can see a blunder over here. So this uh, journal is Questions de Physiotherapy, but here it is mentioned as African Journal of Biological Sciences. Please note that we have already reviewed this particular journal, African Journal of Biological Sciences, and they are recently removed from the Scopus database. I really don't know what is the connection between uh, this journal and African Journal of Biological Sciences. They have mentioned they have got a Creative Commons Attribution License, which is actually a free license. In the article processing charges for uh, funded articles, which means that if the institution is funding, they are collecting an article processing charge of around like 1,599 US dollars, approximately like uh, 1 lakh uh, 30 thousand in Indian rupees. And for non-funded articles, they are collecting 600 dollars or approximately 48 thousand in Indian rupees. In the above the journal section, they have given uh, one uh, table. Okay, so here they have mentioned uh, for high income, middle income, and low income. So here. 2,799 US dollars for funding article, 
for non funding it is approximately 2299 approximately like uh, 2 lakh in indian rupees for a funded article more than 2 lakh okay and approximately 1 lakh 70 thousand in indian rupees for high income country i really don't know why a scopus quartel 4 journal is charging this much article processing charges in the editorial team section we find the editor in chief uh, jesus rebolo rolled on okay so here we also have associate editors uh, advisory board of uh, directors editorial board members and councillors all of them from spain we do not find uh, internationalism in the editorial board members or reviewers also we can find that uh, institutional email id or maybe company email id is not uh, mentioned in each of these member section actually this is a primary requirement for getting an issn number which they have not followed in the contact section okay we find only the same email id being displayed for the principal contact as well as for the support contact we do not have a affiliation address we do not have a pin code we do not have a live google map location we do not have a telephone number or maybe a toll free number to contact to so suppose let us take in the case we have an issue the only communication is through the email id and that too this particular domain dot es is not active which they have changed to dot com with this particular journal we do not have any other alternative websites anyway there is some confusion with this particular website. Anyway, we will try to cross check this information in Sai Imago Journal Rank website. So in Sai Imago JR.com, we have searched for this journal name. We have got the search result. Country is Spain. Publisher, uh, Sociedad Andalusa de Physiotherapy. Okay, Sophia. Okay. So here they have mentioned H index is just one. Okay. So coverage years shows 2019 till 2023. Anyway, there are other ways to cross check this information. When you try to click on this information home page as well as how to publish in this journal, it is pointing to the exact website what we have reviewed, which means that this is the original genuine website according to Sai Imago Journal Rank. Please uh, note that uh, for how to publish in this journal, it is pointing to one particular link which is inactive. Maybe Sai Imago Journal Rank would not have updated the correct information. And please note that this particular email ID is not active. They have displayed the scope of this journal in the Spanish language. So here in uh, physical therapy, sports therapy, rehabilitation, it comes under quartile 4. Okay. So here we have the 2 year, 3 year and 5 year statistics of this journal. There are no comment section which means that authors do not have an awareness about this particular journal. So with Sai Imago Journal Rank, we have got some information. Anyway, we will cross check this information in the Scopus database. So in scopus.com, sources being selected in title or maybe through ISSN, you can search for this journal details. You are getting the search result. Okay, questions to physiotherapy. Site score is 0.1. Okay, citations citations is just 4. We find the same ISSN number and publisher information. Coverage years shows 2019 till 2025. So, which means that currently they are indexed by the Scopus database. We do not have a view homepage section. Okay, but anyway, there are other ways to cross check. Okay, so here in Scopus content coverage, 2025 we find six documents now here comes the complaint from the authors that uh, there are totally like uh, 10 documents being published in this particular website out of them only six got indexed so far but fortunately in 2024 38 documents got published in the original genuine website and all of them got indexed as well over the years as we see like approximately like uh, uh, 30 odd documents being indexed every year but in 2025 already we find 10 uh, articles being published in this particular journal when you go to the site score rank and trend okay up to 2023 it comes under zeroth percentage so since it comes under 0 to 25 it automatically comes under quartile 4 so which means that whatever information given in sai Imago journal rank website has been found to be correct about how long will this journal remain in the scopus database we have a feeling that this journal might be removed very soon keeping into consideration their publication time is just one week as claimed by the agents backdoor and associations while in the website they have displayed a standard process but through the backdoor through the agents uh, through the associations they are publishing fast track within a week in master journalists or maybe web of science database we have searched for this journal name we have not got the relevant search result. Please understand that this journal name is different from these journals. So therefore, this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science database. We decided to search for this journal name in the ABDC quality list. 
we have found there are no journals that match these parameters which means that this journal is not indexed in the ABDC quality list. In UGC CAR website, we have uh, group 1 and group 2. Since this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database, it comes under the Scopus source list. It automatically comes under UGC CAR group 2. However, we have a link called list of clone journals UGC CAR group 2. When we try to click on this particular link, we search for the ISS number. We have not got the relevant search result, which means that according to UGC CAR website, they have not identified any cloned or maybe fake website. As far as this particular journal is concerned, we have found only one particular website. Please understand that in 2025, out of 10 articles which are published, only 6 got indexed and we have uh, no information whatsoever whether these articles will be indexed in future. About the article processing charges, uh, for funded authors, they are collecting a processing charge of 1600 US dollars or approximately 1,30,000 in Indian rupees. Whereas for the non-funding authors, they are collecting $600 or approximately 48,000 in Indian rupees. But through the back door, through the agents, through the associations, they are collecting an amount of rupees 11,000 for Indian authors and 20,000 in Indian rupees for foreign authors. While the publication time they take uh, is just one week. Whereas in the website, they have maintained a rigorous standard review process. We believe that this journal might be removed from the Scopus database very soon. Anyway, as of now, this journal is currently indexed in the Scopus database. It automatically comes under UGC CARE Group 2. However, this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science database as well as ABDC quality list. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience, Please share them in the comment section. So I'm sure you have benefited a lot out of this useful genuine review. See you then in another interesting genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science SCIE ISI UGC Care Group 1 or maybe Group 2 journalist as well. Till then, collaboration is everything.